Hey guys, it's your boy Rusty Russell Vlogs here. Today I'm going out with Captain Bowtie to the fort. Oh, hello everybody. Hello. Yeah, clean this out. <laughs> Cut grass. Don't you just hate when your neighbor pours chocolate milk down your chimney? Don't you hate when you put chocolate milk in your neighbor's um, pool filtration system when it shoots out the jets? Chocolate milk comes out with it. Is that, is that a fridge that you just pulled nails out of? No, it's a Westinghouse. Oh, okay. I got staples. I got that. I got my new shoes on. Um, my sister Peyton, she's got her uh, YouTube channel out. It's called Little Pay. Um, so yeah, go ahead and subscribe to her. I'll be mentioning her in other vlogs. She'll be in my other vlogs and she'll be starting her YouTube videos in a couple days or so. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe to her. Right now we're heading to the fort to do some maintenance on it because when it rains, the, uh, the tarp sinks in and creates cow titties and they create pools of water which I call cow titties. Go there and fix it to where the tarp doesn't do that no more with a staple gun and some nails. Just staple them in so it doesn't sink in no more. Put that away. We're in a we're in a childhood place known as a park. What what, what do you think's gonna happen when Payton starts her videos? Uh she's gonna pass you in a day. This is the end. Uh, we're almost there. Let's talk about uh, what the fuck, bro. You see that? Yeah. This spider web went from there all the way to there. Freaking clotheslined both of us. He was like, "I'm a pro wrestler." What? Oh, I didn't mention yet. We're going go karting. We're taking y'all with us. So yeah, and then tomorrow we got bowling. So. We're going down the trail to the fort. Uh, yeah. Bro. Who's watched the Predator movie yet? I'm gonna go on the other side and see all the water fall down. Shit. Yeah, because it's the water. It's the pumpkin patch that's rotting. They're eating all right, right? Cool. We can greet them with open arms. This harvest coming early. Yeah. Well, the pumpkin patch is exploding. Look. Yeah, it is. It's freaking that now. All right. Let's go around the back. Teams. Now when it's trying to eat your flesh. Oh, that's wet, ain't it? Yep, you're a good old boy, aren't you? Are you gonna say a memorable quote? Always. I mean always. Brush your armpit hair. Laggy right now. Well, All right, hello. All right, it's Rusty Rose Vlogs here. Part two of the vlog. I'm about to hit a strike, I hope. <laughs> that. Bro, super <laughs> over there. Oh my god, face. Come on, you have to do this. Yes, Get the strike though. Oh, maybe next time. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's Super Inferno. Yeah, give me a voice change too. All right, so this is Super Inferno. Uh, how are you bowling right now? Good. You're bowling. <laughs> You're bowling good. Yeah. All right. Well. well Russell's ahead of me. <laughs> This is interview time. Male Extraordinary, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. What's going on Russell's YouTube channel? How do you feel? Okay, I feel violated. Interview with Male Extraordinary, how do you feel? About about your score right now. Do you feel like you can do better? Bro, bro, yes! 
Oh, almost, almost. I have the same ones. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm recording. Oh, all right. So, welcome to Rusty Russell's Delights. So, today I'm going to show you how to make Mexican. First of all, you want to get a cup and a half of water. Cup over the fire around medium. You're going to go ahead and put that in there. You're going to get one can of drained diced tomatoes and tomato juice. And a can, a drained can of petite diced tomatoes, and basil, garlic, and oregano. And then you're going to do a quarter of a small can of tomato sauce. <laughs> it's a caterpillar. Oh my god! It's a caterpillar. And it's on your... We should so, go give it to Peyton. Bro, so it's... Go, she's going to sit on it. It's alive still. Bro. We're gonna set this loose. I don't fucking. It's because my grandpa bought these from a fruit market and or a market, and I guess I don't think you should one. eat that. So I'm no. con I'm constantly gonna have my. Then you're gonna cut up a a green pepper. One small green pepper, cut up, and throw it in there. Stir that before you. Stir it up, and now it's starting to get liquidy because the it's starting to get heated. Yeah, wrong. Ooh, tastes like tomato soup. I have round roast from cow, and what you're gonna do is that you want to cut it with the grain, which is that way. Slicing it. Through, and you're gonna cut them into f strips. May I ask a question? Yes. Why aren't you using a normal kitchen knife? Because this is my grandpa's buck knife that he uses for hunting. Well, like it's the knife that he takes up north to cook with, to cut meat and all that. And um. I feel like kitchen knives are just doing sense. Yeah, but sense. yeah, but my kitchen knives are shit. So I'm using this strips. Just like me. I wish Payne was coming around and like, hey, what's up? What's turn around? Shut up! Okay, hello. Alright, so now that we got all the meat cut up, nice, beautiful chunks, we're gonna go ahead and add it in there. And that was about a five pound eye, eye roast, which is about enough to make two nice Mexican sandwiches, or like one huge one and a small one. So, yeah. And so what we're going to do now is we're just going to mix it up. We're going to add one hot pepper to it to give it some spice. Juices and all that. But one of those peppers would be good enough to make this whole dish spicy. Because he's such a savage. Don't need one. When are you going to come back? Um, we're going to put one more cup of water. And we're going to add some seasonings. But right now we're going to we'll be back in just a little bit. So... The meat is done, so I'm gonna put it on simmer or low. Why? I will eat you. It's a lot. It's just a lot. Yeah, low. So what we're gonna do is that I got the oven preheating at 355. 355. And um, sorry. We're gonna get the fuck out. Put the cheese in the grinder. Turn it on. And start grinding cheese. Oh yeah, by the way, this is mozzarella. You can use Mexican blend and all that, but I like using mozzarella. And then you go ahead and just keep 
my brand up. We'll be back when we're done grinding all the cheese. So what you want to do to assemble a Mexican sandwich is that you want to do that. Put your first tortilla down. Then you want to get some freaking beans. You're going to give a nice light coating. It looks, like, looks like a lot more than a light coating. It looks like dog poop. I bought already pre-made Mexican rice from a Mexican Why store. Why does it have to be Mexican rice? Because it's Mexican sandwiches. Stay out of it! You're such a fan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking beater. <laughs> you want to get another tortilla. No, you don't. You want to get another tortilla. <laughs> and you want to do another layer of beans. So you do the same thing twice. Yeah. See. All right. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna get your uh, concoction, your your meat from your cauldron. <laughs> That's my. Oh, name. take my meat and put it in your tortillas. Okay then. Put it in pump, pump, second blood. So you're gonna go ahead and load it up with meat. I know. Me <laughs> too. Oh my god. <laughs> that sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Freddy. Don't do I yelled about Serena. Look at it. Russell's already farting. So it's just put off the oven. So now we're going to cut into it. Put Always be careful. Don't, don't you mean if, you're, if you're under the age of 12, have an have a adult, adult buy. Have like someone younger than you. So, today is 12. So we're eating, Ugh. and yeah. it's really good. Today is 12. Oh, just look at Russell, that. what do you think about it? I really love it. Brennan, do you like it? Look at that. I can't fucking pick it off. <laughs> look, 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 look. You guys ready? Yeah. Look, pan over, starting now. No.